<laughs> that Clean. That's good enough. All right. So we'll just start with our wrist. And hey, you got your patch on, don't you? Uh, Mr. Gusty gave that to me a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Did you just get one now, or is it you know you were you got more than one uniform color? No, I uh, had it on a few weeks ago. Okay. I have too many uniforms, so I tried to do patches and I put Velcro on. I guess how it works is so well. <laughs> <laughs> so I figured I could, you know, each each uniform I had, I fit in one. So I, I, I had one Velcro still on, and I was fingers were wore out. Well, I noticed. After I got them sewed on, the uniform stays a lot better than the white ones do. And <clears throat> it's, it's looking a lot more worn. It's yeah, it's usually the my white one turns that color, the bad color, that dirty color, greeny color. So I don't wear white very much. Like pullover is white. Oh, it's a thick one of style. Uniform. I like those. I mean, most everything I have is. Is um black. black or black with red or something in it. And uh, we'll do all this because it's so cold. And then we'll cover, we'll get orange down. We'll, we might just get all yellow to orange all in this here video. And that'll get a record of them, although they're already recorded. We'll put, I think I'll put them on uh, YouTube. And I'll continue. Let's see, we'll roll back, we'll go back and roll. We'll gradually we'll just come by occasionally. <laughs> uh, you go ahead and roll. Let me see if I you're in frame. Just right, yeah, right side, left side. That one's good. Yeah, there we go. There's always a little more frame than it shows. And then roll back, and then we'll we'll do a couple of Big way to start out. Oh, over here. Let's see here. Uh, I think it helps a lot. You can feel where you hit. Oh yeah. Just hang on. I don't have to be that sure. If you change any position, it'll work. Yep. That's okay. Move it back, just fall back. Yeah. Uh, 
Two more times on the right side, left side. Stay facing the same way. We go back. But stay facing the same way you came. Otherwise, you'll do the same side the way. Not only the same side. Same direction. Yeah. Mm, that feels awkward. All right. Oh well. How are we doing? Great man. All right, back roll here. Yeah. 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 So, you bridge up, and you push. And you pull your heel to your butt, push. Don't let it go forward. <laughs> and shrimp. Take it to breathe in. Yeah. In, out. In, out. Grab the balls of your feet. And you bridge up. All the way to the end. Kind of here, and like the homes, you're just right in front of your face. You can do these in place as well. Head. It's like a good mountain escape. 
on your toes, balls of your feet, close to your heels are to your butt. You know, there probably is about 10 by each side or 10 each side, depending on how you feel. Yep. And then you can, that would be your out. See how it works? Somebody's on top. Bridge, sweep, boom, now you're on top. There it is. So you don't feel the same. Sweet. Ah. Good. Anything else? <laughs> Take this. There's other ones, but we'll go with those for today. Well, we got rolls, got falls. Um, ground and work is really more combination of mobility, so you're moving, and uh, practicality, so it's skate with somebody on top of you. We will work on that one day. Not yet. So, I think we can go into uh, like this, this yellow to orange escape routine. All the routines, and we'll just center up on this. Assuming we got watchers, if not, we'll record it and put it on Facebook. Or leave it on Facebook. So, we're going to view the yellow. See how I'll, I'll go through them and then you'll go through them. And then we'll go into the orange. We may leave something out. Can't do that. Same side grab. So this is just my left side. I'm going to do my back stance. Here. I'm going to just do a little bit here. And then the other side. And I step back. Say, hey, leave me alone. So I do all that. You could probably not step over me. I'm still going to not out frame. So that's uh, escape Mugi number one. One more time. Cut. Come up. Pull your hand back, step back, back stance. Back stance if you need a stance with that. Yeah. yeah. Mugi number two, we'll call it horse stance. I'm gonna stay on this plane, lateral. Uh, foot is closest to the direction I'm going. You have to grab hand as the foot moves first. The other one has to follow. Horse stance. Circle out to in, out to back in, so it crosses itself. It's the its channel. All right, you do that. Horse stance. Number two, Mugi two, Mugi E. <laughs> Mugi, there you go. Horse stance. Call it horse stance because you lunge to horse stance. You can stay in horse stance if you want. It's a nice push. It's a nice balance. A lot of weight stance. A lot of balance. Mass is lower. Center, center gravity is lower. Yeah. Pull, pull that person down without the grab, really. Number two. Number three, front stance. We're coming at them at the angle. I mean, open triangle, close triangle, however you look at it. We're going to circle out to in, lunge, cross him again. Very similar, it's just a different stance. Other side, circle, lunge. And this knee, the second step, if you're in the right spot, you can take the knee out. Sorry, Dodd. <laughs> Locks that knee right up without any effort. Number three. Yeah. All right, Mugi Sam. <laughs> we'll just start naming them, huh? I already know them. Or you can step by, which is the, is the, is the, the reason for Mugi. Mugi is escape. Or push, push out of balance. Yeah, you know, off balance the guy. Set him up for joint lock, which comes, or re-grab, which comes next. Number three, one more time. Out, then that <laughs> messes yourself up, that's all right. Yep. Pass it in front of me, because that's gonna keep you, me from punching you in the face. Yeah, good. Cross me up, perfect. I always wanna be on the back side of your person. There's no doubt. So that's three. Number four is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use front stance again. Some people like to step back. I don't in Hapido so much. Uh, it just depends. We're gonna do escape number four, which is jaw. So I'm going to use my jaw to bend his wrist or escape him there. That's part of the escape. And then I'm going to push it across. Boom. Hit him in the face. Wow. Okay, so this is very similar to number three. If you look at it, I'm just using a jaw grip, especially if I lunge in here. It's almost exactly the same. It's just a tighter circle, really. But it's using the jaw. Escape number four, Milky Sa. Yeah, right across because that, that blocks myself. I block myself. We'll do the other GB2 this time. Open across. Open across. 
and you can even do this pass. Straight line, straight line, think about straight line. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Much more effective. It happens too quick. Oh, so quick. So there's four. Four yellow belt immunities. Uh, let's go ahead and add orange. Orange, we got number one, number one, sorry. Number six, Mugi number six. Six? Five, yeah, I can't count. Mugi number, what, Ili Sansa? Oh, <laughs> this is going to This is going to be spin out. Hopefully, I don't have these backwards. If I do, we're going to cover five or six in a row. This is more like three quarter turn. So I'm going to swing my backwards through. He's already, I'm just hanging. He's hanging on, so it's a joint lock, unless he lets go. Boom. Number five, yes, thank you. <laughs> so you can step a little before if you want, but you're going to do three quarter turn and just go right on past. Not frame of chuck. What happened here? Yeah, I'll try that one back. Yeah. Number O. Oh. Number O. Oh. <laughs> and five. There you go. Yeah, I didn't pull that good on that side. No. We'll do it again two more times. Okay. These are relatively new for you, right? Yeah. Started working on these what, uh, a couple weeks ago. Saturday, Saturday yeah. The, uh, tried to do good to last Wednesday, but we just didn't get around to filming. So, thus we're doing this. All right. So that one. Think uh, if you want to take turns or stances, three quarter turns, just like in forms. You should be doing your forms if you're not doing forms. I recommend you got. You should learn the first three anyway. Basic pitos. One more time. I can do different things with this. I can, I can shoot my hand down, which is crossing. And it make sure to make sure his grip is lost. It doesn't matter. It's a, it's a spin out. If I hold, I'm gonna hold it as tight as I can. Hopefully you do it right. It doesn't matter. He kind of ran into my, my arm, shoulder, but the, the grip we can't. I can't hold on to that grip. Spin out. Let's do back legs. There you go. Oh, number five. Number six. We're gonna go back to jaw. And this is a little more risky. Remember four was a cross, which crosses and opens up like a liver or a spleen shot. This comes up. Boom. So I need to either step back or come in, and I'm gonna call, I'm gonna come in. I got lots of targets. I got those screw hands we never teach teach anybody. Boom, thrust, palm heel on the nose, pass over. Doesn't matter. I can do a lot of things. I can go back to three escape and just do an escape and pass the knee again. <laughs> so it's jaw up. Right now you got jaw. You got jaw crossed. You got jaw up. You can go out and down too, but that's later on. This is number six. Yeah, it all balances. If I hold on tight, it may it may be hard. Oh, if I do, it all balances. All balances me, which is good. It's not the best escape, but make sure you take that hand in like you're going to strike. Because it's like, oh, ah, there you go. It's all still block. Because <laughs> anytime you come in here, you need to use both hands. All right, there you go. Escapes. Uh, that's orange. Come back to regrass. Number one for yellow. Uh, we'll call yellow. We're gonna grab. We're gonna stretch back. This time, I'm taking him with me. <laughs> Escape number uh, Miyagi. Then this is Chucky. Chucky number two. Uh, number one. Uh, four. Three guys. Chucky, three guys. Boom. And I can throw elbows. Good. Yeah. He knows. He's rocking already. Look at that. Good. Escape number one. Huh? Yeah. Step back on the opposite side. Works, but it's not the same. Right. Step back with the same leg you just did that time. You know, much better. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you step back to a cross, cross step, which doesn't give you much pull. You kind of want you want to step back just like in the escape. Uh, opposite leg just grab, opposite or uh, leg just uh, arm just grab. That way. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it covers another probably torso length of distance I got to run. So, because you turn that much more. And you're flying. Boom. Number two is coming back to the horse stance. Okay, Mugi, uh, Skate, and Chucky regrabs are the same four uh, motions. So horse stance, right? Circle out. My regrab is just going to come in the circle. I like to just pull it back, and then I balance him and kick him in the knee. He pops his weight on. A lot going on, I know. This one's horse stance. Stay on this plane. Step, step, relax. Hard to think of, I know. Looks good. Yeah, that's it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, give me on one leg and kick that leg. That's bad for my leg. That's perfect. Okay, pull. Yeah. And we're doing it just nice and controlled. Uh, don't blow out your partner's leg. And don't over pull him. If you're pulling too hard, watch. He just falls into it. It's a subtle little balance. 
Pool smash, oh god. Sorry. <laughs> that leg, I hit that like three times. Good already. <laughs> right. Hopefully that's not your good leg. One more time with that. Or stand, pull, yeah, oh yeah. The taller you longer you are, the more probably more versatility you got on this. Options you have because you're longer, you're taller. Which works. Alright, so that, that was two, three happens next. Go back to the inside. This is front stance. I'm gonna grab whatever I can grab. I got a sleeve. If you don't have a shirt on, I got a hook. I got a shoulder. Boom. Blast a knee somewhere. You don't have to blast a knee. It's just fun. Knee, shoulder. Boom. Let's pull and go. Re grab and go. You can do lots of options on this with the stretch. You don't even have to stretch. Escape number. Uh, re grab number three. <laughs> that was totally awkward, right? <laughs> so remember, don't grab. Escape. Re grab. You grab and then escape, try to escape. Okay. Escape first. Yeah, now we grab. Ah, oh, yeah. Boom. Yeah, pull down. Got two, one. one more time on each side. Yellow three here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't get in the camera. Yeah. <laughs> three D. Chop key. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Swing up, swing up, fine too. So you're setting it up for what? Takedown. Almost a takedown there. But if you uh, if you were to get to the joint lock of that, you would have a takedown. So that's number three. Number four, we come back to remember jaw across. Now I'm just pulling. I'm just gonna do a simple one. I don't think we even did that one before. All right, I'm gonna do this is actually a pretty cool. Jaw re-grab, pull. That's kind of what you're doing. Just a re-grab. Off balance my point my opponent. Jaw, re-grab somewhere you want. Yep. <laughs> you can re-grab uh, lots of different ways. Depends on what you're wanting to do or what they're wanting to do. So trying to pull away. Oh, yeah. Too bad, you gotta be Yeah, you can just come in across the body and jam. Not fun. I can re-grab it down and setting up for arm bar, right? Mm -hmm. Got all kinds of fun. Two more on that, and we'll go to number four. Oh, number five, I'm sorry. Jump. <laughs> Yeah, jaw and then you get a little step back. Works fine. This jaw, yeah, you already set up for armbar, which is going to come after two more of these. All right, so we got number four. That's yellow. This is uh, regrab number five. We're going to come back to the same. Uh, this is probably I'll call it the lame, the lame regrab. But I'm going to grab here <laughs> and just hit somewhere. So that's a lever shot. I can grab here, boom, be careful. Set up for arm bar, you know, take down. Sorry, I don't want you to hold it down without hurting too much. Uh, you team, you gotta come in with an attack. <laughs> Three range for teeth, high block. That's what I'll call high block. You don't wanna know when I get it. Yep, long hill. And, you know, we, we, with a re-grab, it's a little weird on this because it's a bad grab, but you know, you can come up again back to this. You do lots of things. You can't see what's going on half time on that, can you? No, I come up and down, and then I'm arm bar, you know. Which will bring that up. We're going to do that arm bar for sure. Two more times. Number five. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, over that arm bar. Yeah. Arm bar is so natural. So it should be number one, but it's not. Boom. Yeah, we'll just break the teeth. All right, that was number five. And if we come back to six, hopefully I'm keeping these in order. I think I'm switching five and six, but you got the gist. We'll close it here. I think I'm pretty sure I did. Re-grab, spin out, three quarter turn. Watch that right elbow. See his head budge forward? That's because his elbow's getting locked. So don't break your partner if you got one. Don't break their elbow. Do a little high. Boom, do some keto -y stuff. That's cool. Go through. A little more. <laughs> spin out, grab and spin out. Not that one, that one's five. That's the jaw. This is spin out, three quarters. Uh, spin, spin that one. Grab and then back. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Here comes game. Here comes game. <laughs> I, I, what did I call it? Spin out? I forgot what I called it now. Three quarter turn. Think three quarter turn. Yeah. And if you grab it, you gotta lock immediately. That one's sometimes the hardest one to do, so that's intuitive. Probably grab and go high. You can kind of see what's happening there, all right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice stretch. Be careful if you do that. <laughs> high, really high, and then. You don't turn with me, it's a takedown. Boom. That's a joint lock also. You felt a little bit of a lock there on the elbow. 
That's without any nipple. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Just, just how I was finding about the ribs. I wasn't expecting an elbow over the ribs, but that's good. Luckily, it wasn't in the liver. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Happens. Grab first. Regrab. Yeah, yeah, you're getting, you're setting the lock up. Good. Again, that lock doesn't give you a lot of new feedback. You gotta watch my head and do things like that. All right, so you got Mirgi, the skate. One, two, three, four, five, six. Chapki, Chapki. Grab, regrab. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now, uh, to get out of that swing, we're gonna do arm bar first. Take leg number four. We're gonna take one, we're gonna take our first move. I'm gonna do this side so you can see. We're gonna take our first regrab, his first escape. Boom, and I have arm bar because I can see he's moving. I have tap because I can see he's moving. I have arm bar because I can see he's moving. Yeah, tap. <laughs> so it's all there, and that's the set. You don't have to do that. that was okay. Fun, <laughs> Thought I did. Okay, so that was from one. Uh, I'm not going to stick you to any of these, but if you want to do the same one, you can go high and get the same thing that you were already doing. Boom, you can elbow on the chin, and I can go high. And they're going to push it across my chest. Okay, slaps good. And I'll try to stop when he slaps, so scream if I don't. Stomp on my foot or something. No, don't stomp on my foot. Scream. <laughs> scream. Arm bar. Any one you want, but if you want to do that one, great. Now, a little bit deeper, a little bit higher up. There you go, yeah. Kind of like more like a lever, right? Right here. It's, it's a fine, it's a fine thing. That was, that was good. Oh, that's your, yeah, right there. Now. Watch out. Come on this side. So arm bar. Arm bar again. We'll do a couple variations. We can go back to um, ju uh, let's go to horse stance. Re grab, kick, boom. I've got arm bar, boom, you know, or arm bar. I'm not going to do arm break. If I mess that escape, that horse stance up, boom, and I want to turn this away, I can go straight to arm bar and take them. It's nice when you take them. I don't know if you saw those, but do an arm bar from that horse stance one. Yeah, and that's, that would say the messed up one. Perfect, perfect application of that. Non-standard one. Yep, there you go. Yeah, roll that to your hip. Uh, all right, I know I have to tell this, but this is why in forms, this, that puts the elbow in the right spot for the arm bar. It's one reason. It works really well. All right, so that's ha uh, arm bars. You can do them, and you can go back to the jaw, I got an arm bar. I got all these arm bars, so arm bar, jaw, jaw up. Pass off arm bar. I got arm bar, arm bar, arm bars are easy. Quarter turn. We'll do it from this angle. If I go back to say the this horse stance thing, sweep it out. I'm gonna trap. I'm gonna trap right on that thumb. Yep. And that's my grip. And the other one just reinforces. And just push it back towards his face. And he slaps that. That's your sore hand, huh? <laughs> Left hand. Sweep out. Trap. Pull off. Point. Boom. Um, I can, you can see I got, I'm using this a lot. It's a live hand, just a nice lock. It's a nice tuxedo thing, like a gun or like this. It doesn't really work hands like this, but it works really good with these. It's, uh, just kind of locks your wrist. Don't worry too much about it. Quarter turn, yeah, yeah, nice. You see me dipping? That's good, that's getting away from the pain. Yeah, yeah, nice. That's good control too, because this is the one where, when you're young, when you're young, when you're low belt, you get over excited about it. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> Variations: You can use your jaw across and push it right in front, catch it. Catch it up. Again. Use my jaw across or number three. I get four. Oh, sorry, I mean number number four, and it pushes it right into quarter turn. That's quarter turn. Not really here. See, uh, I don't want his hands you know, this way. I want them this way, so. I can already tell just by the, his body language that that's working. Try the jaw one on that one. Do the jaw and then pass it across to your hand. Yeah. Oh, and then, then it's right in front of you. No footwork. It's quick. Yep. And you, try yeah, the key hand. is you do have the hold there. So if I'm taking it back, it's, it's actually detrimental to me because you follow me, especially because now I've got the kink in my arm. Better be pushing back into you probably. All right, so that's quarter turn. Uh, we go from here to here, which is kind of a half, but you know, we won't, we won't, we won't get into that. We're going to add a quarter to that, sweeping out the horse stance one. Maybe I mess it up, pick it off. That's what I like to think. I just roll it over another quarter, and then it's pointing palm to his face. Yeah, it works good because he's slapping hard. Good. Quarter missed. Oh, shoot. Kill it off. Doesn't matter. Got something. 
got the next one, half time. Mm -hmm. Too many of these, but mm -hmm. we'll cover up. That's three quarter, that's a good one too. Okay. That's even the variation three quarter we haven't covered yet. Half, yeah. Ah, yeah. yeah. Everybody feels different on this one. This one works good on this hand. I don't know what it does on this hand. This, this hand's more flexible. Yeah. It works, but it does it, but this one, woo. Three quarter turn, or sorry, three quarter turn. Half turn. Mm -hmm. You can put it high to low. I won't do it too hard, but uh, it's like thumbs in the back. I know it's basic, but I'm being working on it. We got to get that one right because we got chicken wing and the orange belts. Just small circles, we'll call them. Circles. Hop Keto is all about circles. It's all about redire redirection. Nice. And it's all about flow like water principle. Maybe three principles of Hop Keto. <laughs> All right, three quarters. Three quarters after you got a quarter, you got a half, you got them together, you got three quarters, but they're totally different. This one is turn to the inside, palm up, spit in it, poof. Other hand, palm up, grab. This is traditional three quarter. I'm gonna grab the thumb, meat, meat, meat of his hand. Take this one away, chop it, and just turn. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. I got an O and an ah on this side. Sorry. <laughs> got all of them. Boom. Hit, pump, tap. Pull if you want. Don't grab me, buddy. And just turn it gently, unlike the first time. I goes, these are terrible. <laughs> these are torturous coming this way from the center. Spit and palm. You can do them under pain. You can do them. Yeah, you got to get as good a grip as you can. can. Just peel it off. Yep, yeah, that's the lock. Yeah, yeah this is my, you see my hand? Yeah, and then mm -hmm. that's the bonus. And then if you re-grab right there, like palm, palm on, rotate, that's the super palm. That's the easier way to get to the grip without thinking about it too much. Spit and palm, peel off. Yeah, see what you try to do with the grip? Do a knife chop. Do the do the backhand knife chop. Boom, and that puts you into a throw, but it also sets you up for the grip. It's not necessary, it's just a way that we were taught this way, right? Boom, ah. boom, like a roll block. But then, that means my hand is perfect for this hand. <laughs> you can see the throws are coming right up from this. If I was, ah. He needs to know how to do a flip fall or a pretty good a pretty good fall if i'm bad about it one more time two more times on your your side and then we've covered the four yellows so we'll come back to those we'll go to the oranges since we did arm bar yeah now what you don't fumble with it. this gets me going that grip the initial grip is you gotta have you can do it one-handed i'm pretty you've got big hands and you're strong yeah you can do it one-handed that doesn't teach you shit yeah especially when you start pulling me a little bit left right you know back Jam it back in, and remember to jam back in, and worry about that. So there's your four for yellow. Then we got um, ch uh, chicken wing. What was the other one? Dang it, Adam was here and knew all these. Was it just arm bar off of the three quarter turn? Yeah, arm bar, yeah. Okay. Three quarter. Let's turn do that one. Arm bar. So this is the number five or six, depending on which order I put it in today. I think I've switched it, but this is the other other escape. Or no, it's a regrab. Regrab. And we were already doing this. Ty was already doing this. I'm just gonna escape, turn, and then I'm gonna put my shoulder above his elbow. You can already see his him leading. Boom. I can even do do the uh, shoulder arm bar, which is fine. If you don't, and you can do you do it different ways. Grab, three quarter turn, shoulder arm bar. He's taking steps. It's setting me up for to go behind him. Boom. Going to you know another lock. Wait a second. You have another lock. I don't know that one, but the arm bar. Three quarter arm bar. We'll call number number five. Free grab first. Take that. That's good. That wasn't it. That was the jaw. I keep doing that. That's all right. That's a, that's a valid. Don't worry about it. I'm just trying to give you a, a, a base number set of base numbers, and then you can do exactly what you're doing. Flow into them. Yeah. Yeah. yeah there you go. You were doing this one a lot when you were doing it because you were like, this is this is natural arm bar. You can go high. You can go low. You can just pop your shoulder in. Yep. Try it with your shoulder right above my elbow. Should work pretty good if you grab on, re-grab. Pull it across your body, step in. Yeah, and then instead of getting this one under, go under. Yeah, yeah, it'll go swing, just swing your shoulder in. Just like, swing your shoulder in. Yeah. That one works really good because it's one-handed for me. You know, boom, spit, uh -huh. and it hits really. It's just popping it right across this. It doesn't, I don't have to, find it on my chest. I can set it up that way. I can use it to boom, find my chest. No, smack it in the teeth. 
Practical they are, but they're fun. All right, that's number five. We'll call it number six. Was a jaw, a cross? No, no, chicken wing, chicken wing. Sorry, this is joint lock, not not the grip. Number no, number six. We'll call it six or five. It's the orange belt, second orange belt one or first orange belt one. We're gonna go to half turn, missed up, say missed up, quarter turn, boom. Got it. We got it pretty good. It's not working. He's not feeling it. I'm just gonna slide up, thumb over thumb. There's that grip. Feel that grip. And I'm just gonna, I, I couldn't make it hurt the whole way. I'm just gonna jam it up under his armpit, slowly, and watch him, wait for the test. Don't rush that one, because you will hurt your partner. You might hurt him if you go slow, too. <laughs> Tap off, early and often. Thumb, I'm just gonna push it straight under the pit. I might assist this away. I can walk him around and escort him. I'll just him for the camera. Now, I wanna lie, uh, that one sees the stars and makes your eyes water. That was even control. You get some uh, fast ones, so do it slow. You do somebody doing it fast, you wish they did. You half turn, half turn, boom. Oh. Make grip with a half turn. Yep, there it is. See it? Thumb, thumb. So you got that one hand all the way across because you can do it. You got big hands. So you want both hands in the back of my, both thumbs on the back of my hand and push. Yep, you got it right. Push. There you go. Now this is the thumb that you push. Keep pushing under my pit. There it is. Oh yeah, perfect. On top, get that other hand out of the way because you're gonna keep the elbow down and reinforce it. And that's it. See how bad my arms have been? Oh wow. So all the way in. You're not you're not feeling this one yet. That's fine. This is probably this is the most complex one we've done by far. Half turn first. It's all a variation off a of half turn. All it is get the half turn, good or bad, but you you want to get that grip you got right there. Yep. That's it, shove it under my armpit. Yeah, 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 make me walk. Boom. I'll spin this way because I'll get in the thumb. Oh, yeah. So that one we'll do a bunch, a bunch of times. Here's what it's, here's what I like to call this one is going, this ain't working. And I don't know if this is going to work or not. What's your way out of here? Uh, keep spinning. Throw an elbow at me. I don't really have a way out. Keep, just keep spinning. I'll let you spin out. Go ahead and spin out. Turn towards me. Keep turning, keep turning, keep turning, keep turning. Face me. Turn up, face me. Here, I'll show you. <laughs> I don't have a way out. <laughs> you just break, I'm not gonna break. Uh, I, I, this this is the way out. You just gotta move your hands here. Go ahead. Three quarter turn. I mean half, half quarter. Half turn. Turn. Cheek. Half turn first. So in my way out is to to kind of spin here. Oh, take both. So that's my way out. So I'll let you do that this time. Do you feel the way out? Spin. Pull your pull your pull your arm to the center. And you keep turning, it doesn't feel counterproductive. Kind of it feels like you're going to break your own wrist, but it, it loses the grip. So, I'm going to, you. I'm going to, have, I'm going to guide you to the chicken leg. Boom, my way out. I don't want to let you let go of that one hand, but keep the good hand, not your other hand. Let go of it. There it is. Yeah, yeah. And then, but I throw the elbow. It makes you pay for it. It's easier when you got somebody. A third person is easier. <laughs> Oh, I haven't said that today, but three in hot keto is always better than two because you can't see what I'm doing half the time. But when I'm doing it for that person, you can see. Your way out is spin. I go, I'll let you spin and touch on it, step right to the center. And then I have it. That's my take on transferring the chicken wing. Because it's the half turn's pretty good, especially if you get it up high and you did a takedown and you can manipulate your shoulders. There's, but some people don't feel that. All right, so there's orange. Mugi. Chopsky, Spooky, Joint Lock. And then takedown, or throw, sorry. Uh, you already seen, already take him down twice on an arm bar. That's one. But the primary one is that escape, that um, major out of reef, or Sotogari if you're doing uh, uh, Japanese judo. So, ways to do this. I can go here, lunge like in number, a variation on three, but I'm coming in, boom. Calf to calf, pull down, and just trip. It's not like a, it's not a plow. I'm not, I, sorry, it is a, it is a, it is a, a nasty throw when you're not trying to hurt your, when you're trying to hurt your opponent. When you're not, it's subtle. Boom! I'm going to balance. I step into a front stance because that helps you fall, right? <laughs> Otherwise, you're just going to go no, 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 no. You're going to fight it, fall awkward. So, a major outer reef in English. 
So you just want to come in, step by, and other leg, tap the cap, push. Yeah, that, that grip is the weak spot on that one. So that's why the jaw things are kind of weird. So I didn't do a jaw. You can do a jaw, but you want to come to a re-grab. Okay. So I can do a pull. If I try to pull from here, oh, yeah, you feel a quick pull. Which you felt because you didn't get the pull. So really I'm going to go. I'm going to go jaw out. Clear it out and re-grab. Yeah. So you see you got that you got that weak grip. We'll call it a weak grip. Grab on. I'm gonna go jaw to this grab. And this grab in itself is almost a throw, right? See how it is? Uh -huh. Not an arm bar, but it's it's twi it's a twist. It takes your balance. I didn't, we didn't need to do there you go. Yep, step in just like that. This is and this is the judo. How much you falling? <laughs> falling down on that one, good. So it takes me from here, which you're not going to read me on very good, but here, yeah, I'm already falling. As soon as you did that, that was it. Major router. I think, I can't think we have some more throws. No? Yeah. No. Not the front. <laughs> that, you could do the front first. For, oh, yeah, I'm back. Oh, I'm back. And I'll, I'll fall with you. So if you, because if you sweep that leg out, huh, I'll fall high. All right, so I think we got all those in. I wish I had somebody to talk back to me on those because I can't remember what I left out. Punch defense. I left out punch defense. And I forget how many. So if you go back to your escapes from punch defense, let's do a punch defense traditional style. And then when we get some stick, then that's good with you. Sure. So if you're punching me, remember, uh, tell me which hand he's punching. Bow. I bow. And then when I come up, that's when you punch me in the face. I come up. Boom. Number one, I step into a back stance. If I want to, I can pressure it out, follow up, follow up. All those things we know. Main thing is, oh, punch. <laughs> Main thing is not to get punched. That was stepping back. I can step out the horse stance. Number two, boom, boom. Right? I can punch, I can re-grab going out. Punches are, are a little, hmm, not necessarily hot to go. Doesn't give you a lot of control, just satisfaction. I'm gonna do this, all these on you, let me take. Uh, if I come to number three, punch. Oh, sorry. Punch, I'm gonna come straight by, boom, liver, three, throw to guard, right? Variation on it. So all these things we just did, one through six. No, step, joint locks, don't try joint locks, they'll happen, they'll have to give us. And that was a, and the jaws don't work great, it's a more like a, a pressure, so if you stick, if you punch, go ahead and punch. I got the jaw across. Doesn't matter if I get jaw, but it's a good thing. Now smack, 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 smack on the bar. All right? So you got things that are, I'm trying to get him, he's giving me things, he's giving me an arm. And then one more is say the three quarter turn, just to throw it in there, see if it works. It usually works. So boom, three quarter turn. I've already did this step into corkscrew. You haven't had that pain yet. <laughs> 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 Never had that one yet. <laughs> I haven't done that one yet. Okay, good. So there we go. Punch defense. Add, go back to your basics. Go back to your one, two, three, four, five, six of all of those. And they'll have And same for you. We won't practice those. Um, let's take a break. Get your sticks. And then we'll come back and we're going to do the, some, the 12 stick double drill maybe. And then some warm up drills prior to that. And if you're, if you're playing along, hopefully not. Did I start it? It's so dead. There's nobody, there's no motion out there. It's just see red. Anyway, we'll go get it later. If not. You probably can help me with these, Ty, because uh, you know, we'll do the drills. But the warm-up drills are a little different. I can remember them. So, six, yeah. So, uh, stand about there. So, yeah, let me see what you look like. Too, too close. We're probably too close all the time. Sorry. All right, so uh, I'll do it facing you. How about that? Uh, or actually, do it at an angle. No, you can. So, there's a, two stick drills, or some good warm ups. So, you know, this is a good, a good routine or a good base to start with. You're, you're at home, and you just kind of. Trying to do circle down, 
One, two, three, one, two, three. So you're wristing up. So I'm doing circles. Kind of do big circles. One, two, three, one, two, three. And it's awkward, definitely. If you're holding your stick, try to get a fist, at least a fist below if your size kid. I, mine's about two and a half, three inches. Gives you a weapon on the other end. So this is giving you the roll of the wrist, good. Then you have, uh, you know, just your strikes. Your, uh, your, your, your strikes kind of get in the way when you're doing two sticks. Uh, so here's, here's another one. Here's one that, that was part of the 12 that I don't remember anything about. Uh, is It's like a strike down, but you stop yourself. See it? Watch, see my. So it's a, it's, a, it's a stretch, it's a strike, it's a motion. So I'm not going through, I'm going stop. Like a broken, broken strike. Boom. And it kind of raises me up on my toes. Usually you do 10 to 12 of these each strikes. Okay? Then uh, some wrist rotations. So this way, you do three or four different ways. Holding tight grip, so I'm not running out my pinky. No. And you don't do a lot of these, you can feel what it just stretches, man. You're not really looking for a a good stretch here, you're looking for a warm up. <laughs> so, good. If you cross your wrist, this is a this is a strike we don't do yet. I'm getting these good circles, circle, circle, circle. I don't know what my wrist is doing. If I can't, I'm gonna make it help a lot. You got above your head. This is the awkward one. So I'm gonna cross. Um, you can go forward, back. Generally, you do it with footwork. We're not gonna do footwork, so. Just think about helicopters. Sink, sink, sink. This motion with one, see how it works? You're cutting, that's what you're looking for. But they kind of get in the way with two. Stretch, you got some draw strikes. So you're gonna start like in heaven six and we're going to go draw. Wait a minute, that didn't work. I'm gonna strike, dang it. Normally I can do this. Draw, strike, draw, strike, draw, strike, draw. So it goes into your pit, draw around, draw around. So this is true draw, jam, draw, cut, draw, cut. Go ahead and try it, you see the guys. So you're drawing from, your, from there, around your head to a one. And this is under, draw out of your hand. So under, under strike. This one strikes. Under, down, pull it out. This one should be under. Strike. Now it's stuck under your pit. Pull it out. Strike. Pull it out. Strike. You don't hit yourself in the face too much. There's a one. So you pull that one straight through. I think I'm just coming on camera and I. Alright, I like that one. And that one's a nice, a nice warm-up for that draw strike. And then again, you know, there's very, there's better ways to do it if it was, you know. So you're really coming into a jammed place here and finishing with a nice strike. Good. And then uh, variations. I did, I didn't do these. I did a variation on those. Or did I do these? Didn't I? We did those. And then there's some stick strikes that you can do. So you, whoop, your target. Come back to that helicopter. Time. Yeah, boom. It's really an umbrella. See how that looks like an umbrella box? You're doing it. Elbow, 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 elbow. Switch. Boom. Boom. Yeah, tempo strike, okay? So it gives you some feedback. You can kind of hear it. Feel if you're hitting good shape. Okay? Other ones are, are, you know, you're trapped. Strike. Trapped. Boom or block, strike, trap, however you want to think of it. Like you're stuck, you're jammed. Okay. Yeah. This is 12. We'll call it 12 because this is a 12. Okay. Yeah, this kind of hurts my ears after a while. <laughs> These things are loud. So here, start from here, kind of like an umbrella. You do this in cane even, right? And then you just fall through. Don't hit your hands. <laughs> There's a couple variations on these. 
I wish I could remember all of them. Let you, let you get you striking in with some grip without having a partner. Partners! All right, so to review, you remember the, you remember these? So you got your your one high, one, one, one. So that's your one. Do that a couple times. Right, left, right, left. Easy. Okay. So then we're gonna go one, two. One is high, two is low. And you can bend your knees a little bit. You know, don't worry about it. Just get the two. Low is like it is a knee strike. So one, two again. One, two. Other side. One. One more time, and two. And then three, of course. One, two, three. Low, high. I had to sit it wrong. High, low, high. High, low, high. Low, high. Three is actually. Back in one, two, three. One, two, three. Don't know if you can see those. If you can, great. Um, go ahead, four. Four is the other one. One. <laughs> Think about coming, coming across, right? I'm gonna face here, and you can face. Just stand on the side when you do. So these are kind of broken. So they're one, two. They're kind of broken. They are broken. Four. So I'm I'm keeping it right here. I'm not leading with the tip. I'm protecting myself, and also he's intercepting me exactly the same way. So it works. Two, three. See, that's an X. Four is the I. Weird, it's not even my eyes, it's just weird. So, with those, boom. I mean, this is two sticks. Generally, you know, you have the, the cut through the the, 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 the the 12 strike, too, but that's another set of numbers. After we do that, what do we do? Normally, <laughs> I forget. Uh, one, two, throughs, yes. That's good. Okay, that's a good segue. So, you do one, two, three, four, then you go through, 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 three, or one, two, three, four. Does that make sense? X, you're making an X. Yeah. I normally do, do it all four on the right. I don't remember. You do two, High, high, two highs and then two, two lows. Low. Okay, two highs and then two lows. So one, two, one, two, three, four, three, four. These are awkward because they're threes, but if you try not to then lead like this, think about coming through. See how that comes? The tip's gonna come through. Don't don't worry, don't rush it through. So we did one, two, blah, blah, blah. One, two, three, four. Now we're gonna come to the full strikes. Those were all those were broken, right? Four. These are full strikes. One, two, one, two, three. <laughs> what happens? Three, four. These are definitely the awkward strokes when you're coming up, but think about this. You're wanting to do this, this. You're still wanting to be in this position, in my opinion. Uh, it may not be exactly right, but I like it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, again. Yeah, and then you add that in there. Add that, uh, where are you at on that one? I don't know. Uh, full strikes. Not broken. Boom, boom, boom. Go high and then low. I don't think the pattern matters other than your partner needs to know what you're doing. <laughs> right? So after that, we do heaven six, I think. No, you have something else. Do we have something else? It's been a while. I don't think there's anything after that, is there? We don't have any new ones. That was it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, then let's just face them and try our try our heaven six. So uh, for, for, I think I saw. If you're watching it or watching this later, I saw a crystal doing this and it looked exactly right. It's a six count or a three count. One, two, three, one, two, three. And they got the cup back. So that's uh, all the standard. Yeah, that's heaven, heaven six. Standard is, is mixing that up. So you're like, boom, 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 boom. Hey, hit yourself. Boom, 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 boom. Best way to do this before you start hitting it is practice in the air. And all these, all these that way, because I, I always, if you have an odd number, this again, another time for you to practice whilst they're 
banging their sticks together. I'm still trying to make that X in front of me. See it? Boom, 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 boom. Trying to keep that tip up. I don't want to, leave, I don't want to be doing this because my head's open and my, everything's open, except for this part. All right, let's try it. <laughs> nice and slow. Boom, bang, boom. Yeah. I, th I thought we were doing the ending part to the 12. I have no idea. Oh, we're doing the heaven six. Okay, six. but it worked. You did it right. That's what I mean. I like, Except for you ended here. <laughs> okay, fine. I, I messed this one up all the time, so. Because I don't cut. There we go. Yeah. So I don't know if this is good at this angle or not. Everything's high. Heaven. <laughs> don't rush it. Again, it does flow and talk to you. It's hard to make it actually harder. But counting works. One. ones I get messed up on. So that's heaven, high, heaven or high six. And then standard has uh, a low end. All right, bear with us. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. High, low, high, high, low, <laughs> low, high, high, low. It's easier said than done. Am I messing you up with the high, low, high? No. Okay. High, low, high. And high, low, high. This is standard six. I did not name these. Some Filipinos do me. I don't know which one, actually. I didn't see this with Shuhami Gaji's stuff, but so it's somebody else. I don't know. We'll have to figure that out if you're interested. So, and then that's, that's heaven, which is all high, standard, which has a low component in the middle. I want to use like the odd ones, I think. <laughs> no, not the odd ones, every other one. And then we got low, which we're not very good at, right? All right, look, I have found that if I look down, which is not a good technique, I'm going to untie, I'm going to force, how are you going to untie? I'm good. Okay. Low, 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> If you're not looking straight down. <laughs> so, there we go. Still got a chamber. Ah, still got a chamber <laughs> high. All right, try again. I think you're supposed to start high. You're supposed to start, you're supposed to start with underarm. Arm to arm, right? Are you supposed to start with underarm? Ah, no, 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 I'm starting underarm. Okay, start with high. Not high. Start with I may have been missing that one up. Dang it. This is the hardest one for some reason. Inverted. And I switch back. Yeah. Alright, so that's low. So that's, that's uh, if you haven't got to even heaven six, that's way beyond what you need to be, as you can tell. We've been doing this for a little bit, and now I'm so circled. But if you, you know, if you can get to six, boom, 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 you know, you can start putting your foot, your foot works, your feet works, switch, switch, um, you know, you can circle, you know, boom, boom, boom. And that would be the goal for this. This is all stationary, starting out until you get them down. And then the goal would be to, to just to flow, flow around. We're not going to do that for you today. <laughs> we will probably flow in their face or something here. But review. How? Oh, no, that's what the standard. Uh, I don't know what this is called exactly. Home position, we'll call it here. One, 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 two, one. Really looking at this and really looking at your opponent just like any time. 
and the sticks meet in the middle. Like that. <laughs> cool, sticks. Uh, yeah, we did everything on there. I, I don't, other than the footwork drills, which, I, which are great to start with. I mean, you still know uh, the pattern, the footwork drills. I recommend that as a warm-up. We did roll laps today, but a warm-up, you know, if you want to get, if you got your sticks, you just take them out of your hand and put this triangle down. I don't know which one it is. I think it's open. I think it's closed. I don't know. <laughs> it's the easy one. You start at the tip, you line to the top. You line to the back. You line to the back. And you, you know, you focus in the center, boom, you got all your strikes. All your, if you have your stick, you got your stick strikes. Um, your hand's going to be here, one stick, single stick. Or, not, or whatever you got, you got a knife in here, it's gonna be here, or your check hand. So you're just boom. Running. It's like a dance. <laughs> and then the other one, you're making an X, but this is the, the other direction. This looks open to me, doesn't it? You start on the outside, come to the top, boom. Come back. Top, boom. You know, foot, 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 foot. You come all the way to the back, because say you're retreating, Attacking, cheating, attacking. And then your opponent is here. They're coming around them. <laughs> cool. What else can we do with sticks? Let's do the 12, let's do the single stick review. I think I've got it. If not, we'll face it. Can you see? You, you know this one, right? All right, so you got one. Two, three, four, five, six is a stab, seven is a reverse, seven, eight, nine, ten, is it triangle? <laughs> Twelve, dang it! I thought I had it! Is that right? What was, what's eleven? Stab, so stab, so stab, okay. That was close. Eleven. Yeah, yeah, you got it. Twelve! Oh, I got it. One more time, because that was not right. One. See, I'm pulling through. Two. Three. Shift four. Five is boom. Six is down. Seven is down. Eight's knee. Nine is knee. Ten step. I like to go through. Eleven. You can step back just like in cane if you want. That's cane. Five. Or you can step up. <laughs> Chop. Sever. All right, one more time. One high one, high two, three across, elbow if you want to think something, stab, boom, stab, three steps in a row, knee, knee, stab high, stab high across, head or sever the arm. So you just pull it through. The other way to think of it, I don't like to think of these strikes, is if I'm striking this guy, I'm not leaving with a tip. Oh, I'm hitting with the butt or the pinion or punion or whatever this part, this part. And that makes my cut happen. Like a baseball throw. I don't throw a baseball like this. I throw it like that. If I throw and cut, and if I throw a knife that way, an open knife, it'll fly straight to the target as well. So, you know, so I'm just pulling through. The same we're doing in this uh, high one, two, Threes, the threes. <laughs> if we get too much, you know we miss. So you get your tip here. There you go. Yeah. Too much is not terrible. You're just not getting a strike. You're getting a block. So yeah, it's nice. And mine's not perfect on these, but watch yourself in the mirror. Or yeah, the mirror is great. We have. I can see it's dark, darker now, so I can see the reflection. And the stick works really good. I can see the stick, the stick stabbing. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Whew. Back double. I think we got those right. Hopefully. <laughs> nice. Single sticks easier uh, to start with. Double sticks nice. I didn't do, uh, when I was learning this, I didn't do double stick until much, much, much later, rarely. Single stick was the thing. The goal was to get to the freestyle, kind of moving. And then coming in and out. And 
hitting without hurting each other. Attacking him like, boom. Yeah. <laughs> one, two, one, two. Just one, two. Boom. Yeah, and then you feel like you're kind of dancing a little bit. You're not trying to hit you. I'm just trying to make clicks, to, you know, contact with the same stroke. So you need to know the pattern. And then your wrist stances. <laughs> yeah, we won't go back. You don't want. So you're working a little bit of the triangle. A little bit of the triangle for work. Oh, sorry, I went too high. And you missed a lot. That was the goal. Into that. We're almost there with this. This is these are these are going pretty good, I think. So you would do the one, two, maybe first, then you'd add plus a three, four. This isn't the same three, four. This is another style three, four. This is the three, four. The oh no. Cool. All right. And I think with blocks too. We don't have many blocks left in the sticks though. I don't I think can. we have one. Cane and stack. All right. I'm done. I'm going to turn this off and then we're going to finish up. So whenever you watch this, or if you're watching it now, great. Hopefully it worked. Yeah. Great. We'll see you guys later.